From the Loudon Times Mirror Newsroom, this is LTM Live. Sponsored by Charlestown Races and Slots, the hottest slots around. This week's LTM Live features scenes from the golf course at Creighton Farms on Route 15 near Aldi. Legendary golfer Jack Nicklaus designed the course, and he was in town September 30th to talk about Creighton Farms and everything golf. Uh, somebody who enjoys playing golf uh, uh, will enjoy playing here because it's not only will it be fair and fun, but it'll test your metal also. You notice that this golf course, what I did today, was I tried to make sure that this golf course played within the abilities of the average golfer to try to get this to be a 6,500 yard golf course for the average golfer. Nicholas told the crowd what needs to be done to improve today's game. I'd love if I if the golf ball went back to, to going 230 or 40 yards, the golf courses don't have to be as long. You don't need as much land. You can get around it much faster. But until they do that, golf's going to be a longer game. And I think that's wrong. That's what I've been preaching about for how many years now? <laughs> now 1977 is the first time I went to the USJ. It's 32 years ago I went to him about the golf ball. And so, and I told him, I said, guys, you're going to be in trouble. This golf ball goes too far. It's going to, it's going to cause you problems. It's going to continue to go further. And you better solve it now. They said, nah, you're, you're crazy. He ended with some advice for today's junior golfers. And, you know, but the young, but the young guys, the only, there's only one way you can get good. And that's play. And the more you play, the better you get. Now, uh, you know, I think that uh, as I grew up, and I, I remember going back and uh, I can go through uh, uh, when I was 14, I think I remember watching Byron Nelson and give a clinic at a USJ Junior, so I played him. I tried to play like Byron Nelson. I tried to imitate him for the next couple of months. And then I saw Hogan the next year give a, give a uh, clinic and I, I tried to carp a ho copy Hogan for the next few months. Then I played with Sam Steve when I was 16. And I was playing in the middle of the Ohio Open. I played the first two rounds of the Ohio Open and I went down and all of a sudden I I shot 76 70 the first two rounds of the Ohio Open. And I went down to play an exhibition on a Friday afternoon with Sam. And that rhythm, that beautiful swing and so forth. And I went back the next day and I said, Man, I'm going to play like Sam Steve today. I shot 64 and won the tournament. So I said, hey, that's not bad. Let's imitate somebody. So in other words, what I'm saying here is watch. Get as much exposure to watching people. Watch what they do. Watch how people chip. Watch how people play bunker shots. Go watch Gary play your bunker shot and play bunker shots. He's magnificent. Go watch Ben Crenshaw putt. He's terrific. You know, go watch, uh, 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 go, go watch Tiger Woods recover. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. He can he can find he can find out he can make a par from birdies from more from the darnest places I've ever seen. <laughs> and I mean, that's how Arnold Palmer made his name. He said, you know, he was never in the Gap Fairway. He was always out there where everybody else was. Made birdie from out there. That's what made him so popular. People loved it because he played like they did, and he won. 